Uh, good morning and welcome to the first meeting of the Health and Sport Committee in the Scottish Parliament fifth session. I have apologies from Donald Cameron and Colin Smith. I would ask everyone in the room to switch off their mobile phones as they can interfere with the sound system. Rule 12.1.6 of Standing Order states that the first meeting of the new session is to be chaired by the oldest committee member. That's me. Until a convener is chosen. The first item on our agenda is the declaration of interests in accordance with section 3 of the Code of Conduct. I invite members to declare any interest relevant to the remit of the committee. I remind members that any declaration should be brief but sufficiently detailed to make clear to any listener the nature of the interest. Can I start by registering my interest? I visited Taiwan last year. The costs were met by the Taiwanese government. I am the honorary president of Orbison Bowling Club and an honorary member of the Showman's Guild, and I have nothing further to declare. And I'll now invite each member to declare their interest. Claire Hockey. Uh, I'm Claire Hockey. I'm a registered mental health nurse. I maintain uh, my registration with the Nursing and Midwifery Council. I'm also a member of the Unison uh, Union. Tom Arthur, I own a £1 share in Barhead House and Association. I am a member of the Musicians' Union. I am a former director and shareholder of, at Velvet Music Limited. And I'm a former freelance piano teacher. And I have nothing else to declare. Um, I'm Miles Briggs, and I don't think I have anything to declare as such for the committee. Um, my name is Alex Cole Hamilton. I'm former convener of the Scottish Alliance for Children's Rights. Um, I also own a property which I rent out to social tenants, um, which has a, an income of about £10,000 a year. I have nothing else to declare. I'm Alison Johnston. I'm on the board of directors of Scottish Athletics and I'm a Scotland committee member of Fields and Trust and I have um, no other interests that are particularly relevant to this committee. Uh, Neil Finlay, um, my wife and daughter both work for NHS Lothian. Uh, I am a member of Unite the Union and uh, I am a member of Greenburn Golf Club. These are relevant to the committee. Uh, I'm Marie Todd and I'm a pharmacist registered with the General Pharmaceutical Council. Hi, uh, Ivan McKee. I've... Um, uh, declaration, in terms of declaration of interest, I've got um, a property that I rent out and uh, in Stirling area and I earn between ten and £15,000 for that and I've got 50% share in a property investment business. Um, that's all. Okay, thank you. Agenda item two is choice of convener. Second item is to choose a convener. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Labour Party are eligible for nomination as convener of the committee. This being the case, can I invite nominations for the position of convener? Nominate Neil Finlay. Okay. Um, I have received one nomination and I therefore ask the committee to agree that Neil Finlay be chosen as a convener of the committee. Are we all agreed? Yes. Can I ask, uh, congratulate Neil Finlay on his appointment and hand over the chair uh, to, for the remainder of the proceedings. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, our third item is to choose a deputy convener. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are el eligible for the nomination as Deputy Convener of the Committee. That being the case, can I invite nominations for the position of Deputy Convener? I nominate Claire Hawkey. OK. Um, one nomination has been received. I therefore ask the Committee to agree that Claire Hawkey be chosen as Deputy Convener of the Committee. Are we all agreed? Agreed, yes. Thank you very much. And I congratulate Claire on her appointment. I look forward to working with Claire over the coming years. The agenda item four... Uh, is decision on taking business in private. Um, uh, today's decision would be uh, whether we consider our work programme in private, and um, we usually discuss that uh, in private, and at all future meetings would do the same. Um, it's normal practice. Um, this is because the work programme normally includes discussion on approach papers and witnesses and that type of thing. So are we agreed? Yes. Yep. Okay. We are agreed, therefore, I move the committee into private session. 